Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching Two News at 7. Things that these ladies and gentlemen have seen and been through, the sacrifices they have had to make, there's no way the country could repay them for that. Yeah, boys, he writing for the first time since opening in June, the Northern Nevada Veterans Home got a chance to honor those who've served our country on Veterans Day. And that's tonight's Two News Big Story at 7 o'clock. Well, nearly 40 people live in that facility, and it took years of planning, really, to open up. I'm Ryan Kennedy. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for being with us. Well, Valentina Bonaparte was there for the Veterans Day celebration today and joins us now. So, Valentina, tell us how it went. It was beautiful. They had pictures of the veterans when they were younger on the big screen, and state officials gave them a pen naming them Nevada Heroes. Raise your hands so we know where you're at. <laughs> when history is still living. This place is undoubtedly the best motel I've ever been in. And telling stories. And not even everyone who went to Vietnam got to go where I was. It's a small token of appreciation. Having a day to celebrate them is one of the ways to show our gratitude. I'd like to thank you for your service to our nation. When we got home from Vietnam, um, things were, um, people weren't so happy to see us. But today, the Northern Nevada Veterans Home is only one of the places to recognize those who served. That has all reversed itself uh, to where now we get more of a welcoming and um, um, the fact that we've served the country. We're just honoring their service and uh, just proud to be able to be here for them. Showing the 40 residents and their families, their years of sacrifice will always be remembered. I feel much, much prouder than, than we used to. And to learn more about the facility, we have a link on KTVN.com. Covering the story of Valentina Bonaparte, 2 News. So